Ugh, that water is so cold. Regardless of how warm it is on the surface, are you always cold on dives? Let's cover the tools and tips for making dive days more comfortable. Vamanos. I personally always get cold on dive days. Even in the tropics, by the third dive or so, I'm cold. So I've learned a few tricks to make these dive days more comfortable. The obvious answer is to get a dry suit. However, for a lot of us, dry suits may not be an option due to cost. Warning, there's obviously a point at which you do not want to be pushing your limits with diving in wetsuits. So you need to choose dive sites and conditions that are appropriate for the exposure suits that you have. You don't want to mess around with this stuff because serious risks include hypothermia and decompression sickness. Let's dive into our tools and tips. One of the keys to staying warm underwater is to make sure that your body temperature doesn't drop when you're at the surface in between dives. Warm, dry clothes are going to be your friend here. And making sure that you have the right type of clothing is really important. Things like windproof jackets like this one from Surfer, super helpful. You'll want to layer clothes thing as well and take special care for your extremities so having a beanie like this one from surfer if you can't tell surfer is the sponsor of this video today and they have the best water sport activity wear that I have ever tried. If you want to check out their products, I've linked it in the description below and you can use the code ASUL for a nice little discount at checkout. Other important items include socks, gloves, buffs that you can cover your face, especially if you're on the boat and you have a lot of wind. The air temperature may not be so bad, but you may be dealing with a lot of wind and that can really cut through things if you're not wearing the correct layers. In regards to hats, although the myth that we lose 40 to 70 percent of our body heat through our head has actually been debunked if you didn't know that it has we really only lose about seven to ten percent but that's still a place where we can recover heat for all of these layering items you really want to go for stuff that will stay warm even when wet so merino wool is really nice for that it's also got an antimicrobial sort of thing going for it so it won't stink which your dive buddies will be extra grateful for because you have all of these wonderful layers of clothing you want to make sure that your clothing stays dry throughout the day. Having a dry bag specifically for your clothes will be super helpful here. When you go to get ready to put on your wetsuit, just put all of your dry clean clothes in that dry bag. You can put it in the dry area on the boat or in your car or whatever you're doing for the dive day. And when you're done with the dive, you're going to come back to nice dry clothing. Now we've already ruled out dry suit diving because that's a whole other video that we can talk about for staying warm underwater. Lots of accessories that go into that. It's another conversation. So we're focusing on wetsuit diving. Warm beverages. I am a big fan of drinking warm beverages before or in between and after dives. I like to say that you should stay hydrated and have hot water or on caffeinated teas. I would be a liar if I said that I didn't drink coffee, but the idea is that you want to be careful with that because you want to stay hydrated for your dives. That being said, because we're in wetsuits, we don't have to worry so much about peeing during the dive. I know for myself, I prefer not to, but you know, sometimes it happens. And if you're on a cold dive, sometimes it's nice. <laughs> If you're going to pee in your wetsuit, you want to be smart about when, about the timing during your dive. And I know, I hope I don't lose you here. You do not want to get into the water, feel that it's cold, and then immediately pee in your wetsuit to feel warm because ultimately you are actually going to make yourself colder. The most strategic way to go about this is to go through the dive as normal. If you need to pee towards the end, do it and just make sure that you flush your wetsuit before you get out of the water. I'm sure I lost some people there, but it's just realistic. I've done it. I'm sure most of you have done it. Pee happens. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so now we're out of the water. We're done with a dive. Changing. When you first get out of the water, your gear is soaking wet, so you really want to stay in your exposure suit while you deal with your gear. If you immediately change out and you start to put away gear, you could end up getting your dry, warm clothes all wet. If you want to level up your comfort here, you could invest in the surfer water parka. You gotta get out of the wetsuit and into some dry stuff. So I'm gonna pop this guy back on and get out of this thing. This is an awesome piece of wardrobe, especially for moments like these, because you could actually get out of the water and take off part or all of your exposure suit, wrap up in the water parka and deal with your gear before fully changing into your dry clothes. I say that because the water parka is big, it covers everything, and it's designed to get wet. It's still warm even when it's wet, and it's windproof, so it's gonna protect you from the elements. After diving in cold water, I'm a big fan of using little hand warmers to help my hands and feet warm up again. These are great when you're at the surface. You never ever ever want to take these diving. They are not designed to work at pressure underwater and I have heard of people getting chemical burns from taking them in their suit. These tips have really helped me in this in-between of using a hand-me-down wetsuit and transitioning into dry suit diving. Diving. A dry suit has really only been an option for me now that I'm heading out on my dive dry road trip and I know how hard it can be to make that leap because it's a big investment. So try these out, see if they work for you, but also make sure that you're not pushing yourself because hypothermia is a serious issue and you don't want to mess around with that. If you don't know what my dive dry road trip is, please check out the video in the description below and see what I'm getting up to this year. And otherwise, you know what to do. Like this video if you liked it, leave your questions in the comments below, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And like I said before, check out Surfer. I am in love with the products. They are super well made and truly keep out the wind. I use them everywhere, camping. I did some hot spring hopping as I was going through Northern California, and it was my favorite thing just to throw on the water parka and go from one hot spring to the next. So that's about it. Okay, love you, bye. Let's do this. <laughs> Whew. All right. It was beautiful. Like, 10 whole feet of visibility. Can you believe it? <laughs>